I think, uh, you know, storytelling can be an extremely effective uh, uh, thing in selling. And it's not just in one part, right? Um, so we run this uh, program we call uh, Story Powered Sales, where if you, if you were to take, um, take the sales process, Gautam, and break that up into three uh, almost uh, sort of very, very rudimentary parts of the sales process, uh, they would probably be first is uh, is is uh, build rapport and credibility, right? Till you build rapport and credibility, you are probably not going to be able to um, uh, connect with people or sell that idea. Because I'm sure uh, you know, um, Amy, you'd agree, and Gautam, so would other other entrepreneurs that people have to first buy you and your company before they buy your idea, product, or service, right? And the way they can buy you and your company, you through what we call connection stories, tiny stories about you that tell the people of who you are and what you stand for. Right. You know, I can walk up to you and say, hi, hi, Gautam. My name is Indranil. I'm the founder of uh, StoryWorks. And I think I can train, uh, let's see, let me see. Uh, I, can, I think I can train engineers well because I'm an engineer and I'm a computer science engineer from Jadavpur University that bit you're okay with when I say I'm a computer scientist. What if I came and said, hi Gautam, you should buy from me because I'm extremely trustworthy. It doesn't work. Why? Because, you know, while we can claim credentials, yes. we can't claim character. And right. you can get across character by using tiny stories from your own life, which tell people what makes you tick. Right. And so that's one way you can build rapport. You can use what we call the company foundation story. How, how did your company get created? Why are you in business? Yeah, right. uh, That story can, can also be able to uh, build relationship and rapport of your company with the client. So the first part is about building relationship and rapport. The second part is about selling change. Yeah, And we all, already answered part of the question saying, you know, can you give me examples which will help me sell the change? The yeah. other thing we do is actually say that you, you can structure your change message yeah, into a story structure. What do we mean by a story structure? Stories always have a, a setup. They have a build up or a climax, and then they have a, a sort of a, a, a conclusion. So can you use your change message uh, of whatever you're selling? So let's say uh, you are selling Let's say you're selling a, uh, um, an accounting software on the cloud, right? Can you start by talking about what is the background? How has the current company that you are selling to, uh, how has their accounting evolved? What are the challenges they, you think they're having now? Then introduce the solutions that are possible and then tell them when the solution happens, uh, how will everyone benefit? That has a story structure, right? So you can explain change uh, with, with what we call a clarity story structure. You can tell people why your product works by using what we call a success story, which is a, a case study, but narrated like a story with characters, et cetera. Right. Finally, it's about getting the business. Yeah? And we all know that when we're trying to get a business, there will be a lot of, let's say, objection handling we need to do. Now, there are two kinds of uh, objections that people have. One are based on facts yeah? or their lack of understanding of fact. When you get an objection like that, it's easy to solve that through sharing facts. But there are a lot of times when people have an objection because of a certain belief they have. Yeah? Right. Yes. And um, I call those beliefs anti-stories. Why do I call them anti-stories? Because a belief is nothing but a story in, the, in someone's head. And the yeah. thing is, you cannot fight story with data or assertion. Yeah? What you can do is replace that anti-story with a more powerful story. And so that's how in the objection handling phase of the selling process, you can use stories again.